Welcome to this video. Sorry, I just cracked my knuckles. Um, I'm going to be doing my 2023 bookshelf tour. I was debating I want to do this, but I think it's better to do this now. I might be moving sometime this year. There's chaos happening in the household. Um, but, I th but a lot has changed, I think, since the last time I've done a bookshelf tour and I might as well just do this now and I can either just do my next one next year or I can just do a second one later on this year um but yeah I'm gonna fix something real quick and I will show you my first shelf one second all right first shelf this shelf is this shelf so just a little up here I have this goofy little clown pot that a friend of mine made mine is I don't know where <laughs> we both made creepy clowns in art class and this was hers and I took it because she wanted to throw it away and I told her no um and it's just a bunch of Halloween decorations a bunch of crystals, a couple candles, and then we get to the first row. You can open that little door. And here I have a Deadly Education and the Last Graduate. So I have uh, that duology. I have Once Dead, Twice Shy, which I think is a series. Um, I'm pretty sure I got that book <laughs> from a book fair in like elementary school. And then I have The Night Circus. I have these couple books. Uh, it is The Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder and Blueberry Muffin Murder. They're like little murder mysteries. And they both take place in Minnesota. I think the whole series does. And they all have recipes in them, which is why I have sticky notes in them. And then lastly, I have uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Which I read, I bought it when I was reading it in high school. I haven't reread it since. Next, I have my poetry cell shelf. So I have The Princess Saves Herself in this one, Ice Cream and Suicide, Midnight Milkshakes. I forgot what these two are. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's uh, Milk and Vine, Volume 1 and 2 this one. All things we don't talk about. Woods covered in salt. And then uh, to make monsters of girls, to drink coffee with a monster, the witch doesn't burn in this one. Milk and honey. The sun and her flowers. Homebody. Light filters in. Yes, I do also have both of Gabby Hanna's books. Adult Lessons and Dandelion. Promise I bought those before she was cancelled. <laughs> um, and then I have Pillow Thoughts, all four volumes. Um, stuff I've been feeling lately. Sea of Scars. I don't know what this one is. Uh, oh, Petals of the Moon. Uh, empty bottle full of stories. Uh, the complete collection of Edgar Allan Poe. And these three books are my dad's. He just had me hide them in here. So don't worry about those. <laughs> and then in this compartment, I have A Stranger in My Grave, Dangerous Creatures, Dangerous Deception. Oops. These two books are to the, um, Beautiful's, Beautiful Creatures series. I think there's also like four or three books in this series, but I think the other two are like ebooks, which is really annoying. <laughs> and then I have The Warrior Heir, which I don't remember if I read this or not. So it probably means I should reread it and then maybe actually finish the series. And then we have Bunny, uh, Payback's a Witch, and Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. 
Ah. Moving on to the next shelf where I can sit. <laughs> um, I had this little rubber duck. Uh, I went, it was my senior trip in high school and I wanted out of a claw machine. I got a bunch of little ducks like that. So first we'll start, I have volumes 1 through 12 of Servamp, 1 through 4 of Dream and Sun, volumes 1 and 2 of Kakagiri, 1 through 4 Black Butler, volumes 1 and 2 of Bunga Stray Dogs. This is my heat pack that I keep here because it's the only place I can really put it. <laughs> ah. Um, volumes 1 through 3 of The Way of the House Husband, 1 through 5 of Warren High School Host Club, 1 through 6 of Bleach, my little Gojo, I got him for my birthday last year, 0 through 7 of Jujutsu Kaisen, and 1 through 9 Demon Slayer. I didn't realize this was dusty, I'm sorry. And then we finally have this bottom shelf, which is very cramped, because I have officially run out of manga shelving room. So first, up here, I have no idea where that came from. So, there's volume 3 of Fairy Tale, volume... Stop rubbing against my hand, cat. A volume of Blue Exorcist, move! Uh, volumes 1 through 3 of Sailor Moon. Volume 4 of Fairy Tale... Ashes! Volume 1 of One Punch Man, Volumes 4, 2, and 3 of Blue Exorcist. And then I have Volume 1 of Noragami, Volumes 2 through 4 of One Punch Man, and then Volume 1 of Fairy Tale, and Volumes 2 through 4 of Noragami. How do those, how do those get so mixed up? I have no idea. Um, and then I have Volumes... 1 through 12 of Fruits Basket. I have uh, Shiver kind of just facing out because I haven't actually tried to put it in the shelf yet. Oh, I just scooched over. There's the rest of my Junji Ito collection. And then Volume 1 of Goodnight Poom Poon. Volume 1 of Creepy Cat. Volumes 1 and 2 of Wotakoi. Volumes 1 through 3 of Parasite. And all three volumes of Orange. Alright, next we're moving on to my big tall shelf, which is a mess, so I'm only going to show a shelf at a time. This first shelf is my Shadow Hunter shelf with my funny little bank that says there's no way I was born to just pay bills and die. Again, this shelf is dusty. I was not prepared to make this video. It just, I'll be honest, making this video because I was pretty sure I wasn't going to have my reading vlog ready by Thursday. So... Scoot that down for a second. So first... Ah, hold on. Okay. First, we have all six books of the Mortal Instruments. And then we have all three books of the Infernal Devices. The Oldest Curses. And the Dark Artifices. And then finally, I have the two books currently out of The Last Ten Hours and one of the short stories, which is The Bane Chronicles. I have three more short stories to get, I believe, and then the third book, Chain of Thorns, for the last book in the Last Ten Hours trilogy, which is coming out, I think, at the end of this month. So, yeah. So this next shelf... So behind it, I keep my video games back here. I had no no other place to keep them. Um, other than that, I have Peter Pan. This book I got in South Dakota. This book, copy of The Cabin, which is damaged, but I don't want to throw it away because I'd feel bad. Um, this book of Close Encounters of the Third Kind that I got from a friend. I read it forever ago. Uh, the Classic Tales of Horror. It's a really pretty book. Um, this book my grandma gave me, Scary, Weird, and Unusual, it's like a bunch of weird stories and stuff. Uh, my copy of Alice in Wonderland. I have this little Heath Cliff comic book. It was my mom's, I think, and I just took it when I was really little, and I've had it for all these years. This book was also my mother's. 
I don't plan on reading this, but it's a good keepsake, I guess, of her Rolling Stones uh, obsession <laughs> that she had. And then, hold on. This sort of disaster. So I have my one volume of Naruto hidden back here. It's the three bind up, and then I have this little dinky thing, drawer thing. And then, okay, sorry, I use my phone. Ah! Everything's falling. Uh, volume one of War Olympus. Volume two of War Olympus. And then volume three of Lore Olympus, and I kind of just have them displayed, because that's kind of how I could get them to really fit anywhere. Okay, next shelf. <laughs> my next shelf is my Stephen King shelf, which I think actually looks cute right now, surprisingly enough, um, with my Nightmare Before Christmas um, figurines and my little ditto, because I didn't really have anywhere else to put this little guy. I have this little coffin and it's wood and then my little ring holder cat and some little tea lights and my old glasses question mark um so I'm gonna take a second to move these things out of the way so that I can actually show you guys the books so first so this whole back row I've read all these which is kind of how I have them sorted at the moment and I don't like it because it makes the height all wonky, but I'm going to fix it eventually, hopefully when I read more. So, um, first we have If It Bleeds, which is, I believe, a short story collection. The Institute, which I highly recommend. It, of course, because gotta have a copy of it, I guess, if you collect Stephen King. Um, it took me forever to read. I have Sleeping Beauties, The Mist, which is a novella, The Bizarre Bad Dreams, Christine, one of my favorites, Pet Cemetery, The Outsiders, 1922, 1922 is a good story. The movie disgusted me. I am sorry, how long has that been out of focus? Um, Later, which is one of his, like, mystery stories, uh, Elevation, Rose Matter. Rose Matter actually terrified me really bad. <laughs> Um, The Stand, Everything's Eventual, another collection of sword stories, The Shining, Doctor Sleep, and The Dark Tower. Next, hold on, give me one second. Next, I have The Half. I haven't read it, except for Billy Summers. I did read B Billy Summers, I think back in November last year. Um, I have another really tiny novella right here. It is Cycle of the Wolf, and then I have Full Dark No Stars. I need to stop looking through my camera to see what I'm pointing at. <laughs> um, which I think is another collection of sword stories. I have this one, The Langoliers. I never heard of it. I so confused, but you know, whatever. I'll read it eventually. And then I have From, Bu From a Buick 8. <laughs> Not sure what that one's about. Firestarter, Night Shift, another collection of sword stories. Insomnia, Thinner. Dolores Claybone, Tommy Knockers, Under the Dome, Part 1 and 2, uh, Needful Things, which I think might also be a short story collection, but I have no idea, uh, Long Lock, Misery, The Dead Zone, The Dark Half, and Salem's Lot, and that is my Stephen King shelf. Next, I have my very, very packed manga shelf. So... I'll go with what's just here first, and then I'll show you what's behind everything. So up here, I have volumes through the three of Chainsaw Man. This I took out because I was going to read next. Um, and then I ended up not doing it, and I just haven't put it back in its spot. But it's volume 32 of My Hero Academia, and then volume 1 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, and then, continued from back there, I have the other volumes back there. I have volumes 5 and 6 here of Given, and then volumes 1 through 10 of Legends of the Old Toilet Princess, 1 through 8 of The Seven Deadly Sins, 1 through 6 of Assassination Classroom, 1 through 6 of Haikyuu, 1 through 3 of Hunter x Hunter. This is uh, Majora's Mask. I believe it's a single volume. And then you can see one of the uh, light novels of Tokyo Ghoul, and then volumes 1 through 7 of Tokyo Ghoul Ray. All seven volumes of A Silent Voice, all volume, 
all four volumes of Millennium Snow, all six vo volumes of Absolute Boyfriend, then a, a few single stories, The Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, video of the Fairy Crown, and The Nightmare Before Christmas Zero's Journey, and then three volumes of Spy Family, and two volumes of Banana Fish. Whoa. Okay. This top row is Imagine Volume two, 32 is still there. Uh, I have all 32 volumes of Mary Academia, and then there's volumes 1, th th one through 4 of Given. And then finally, this bottom row, I have the duology of Sheets and Delicates, the duology for Invisible Boy. This is just a graphic novel series. This is a manga. Uh, and then I have all the volumes for Death Note, which I'm now just realizing is backwards. When did I put that in backwards? I don't know. I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> um, and then I have... Uh, Death Note short stories. I think there's like another short story out there somewhere I might eventually get. Um, and then all 14 volumes of Tokyo Ghoul and then the first two light novels. Uh, for Tokyo Ghoul. You can't see that one. Right there. And that's this shelf. I'm gonna fix that before I move on. Hold up. <laughs> and then down here on this hidden mess of a shelf, because I have to keep it hidden and messy, I have my witchy books. Whoa. Astrology, crystals, all sorts of stuff. Now let's move on to the next shelf. So up here I keep pretty much everything I've already read. It really probably don't plan on rereading for a while. Um, I believe there's the Maximum Ride shelf, Ember in the Ashes. I have no idea what's back here. I can't tell, and I don't want to look right now. Um, Girl Prince Trilogy, Match Trilogy, Creepy Boss Short Stories, Gloom by Ricky Olsen, highly recommend. Silver, Howl's Woman Castle, this trilogy, <laughs> uh, Wicked Deep, Winterwood, uh, Along with the Pumpkin, Pumpkin Queen, To Kill a Kingdom, Sunshine Girl Trilogy, and then I Fell in Love with Hope. The second shelf, which I can see a little easier, I keep hardbacks back here. So, Keeper of Night, Lore, uh, Addie LaRue, The Rolling Hills, Nature Witch, The Stardust Thief, which I haven't read yet. Uh, I have ooh, Volume 1 of the Umbrella Academy. Then there's all my V.E. Schwab books somewhere back here. Yeah, V.E. Schwab. And then all my Natasha Preston books. And then we have the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Grisha Verse Trilogy. All my Lord Oliver books. And then all my Maggie Seawater books. And Cersei. And then down here. <laughs> past all the squishmallows on the floor. Because I, just, I don't have room in this bedroom. So let me move down. Make a mess of myself. Struggle. So down here we have Twilight, all of those books. Uh, pri the host, priority, priority of the orange tree, and things are falling. Um, what is that? Oh, the shadows between us, Fever Crumb, the Diviners, uh, the Serpent and Dove trilogy, right here. Um, Kingdom of the Wicked, the first couple books, and then I have The Miracle Sin, and then the Carval Trilogy. And that's my bookshelf tour. I'm sorry this video became a mess in the end. Um, I'm gonna make a better- I'll make a better one eventually. This was rushed, but I wanted to get it done, and I hope you enjoyed either way, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!